He was viral before viral was a thing. When Jason McElwain came off the bench in 2006 to score 20 points for Athena, Facebook had 12 million users, not the 1.1 billion it has now. Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat didn't exist. But j Max story still took the internet by storm. I was on fire, I was hotter than a pistol. Not because he never played before that night, but because Jason was autistic. And by doing what he did, he inspired people around the world. Today, 13 years later, he continues to inspire and has become one of the most well-known advocates for people whose lives have been impacted by autism. Part of his outreach is education. That's why he brought members of the Greece Athena Boys soccer team to the brand new Galasana Autism Center to give them a better understanding of what the families are dealing with and how this facility can help. It's just to be aware of what um, to be around what it's like to be around kids with disabilities and to, for them to see um, that they're ordinary kids too in their own way and special abilities. Not just the, like it's not disabilities you wipe the, that word out. You wrote special abilities in their own way and to see how fortunate they are. Um, because a, a lot of kids with special needs uh, after high school don't go right to college. They go right to work and they have to fight for themselves to get jobs. And you ha they have to see that, be aware of how you treat kids with disabilities. Um, it really opens my eyes to what people and families go through like on a daily basis. And you know, going through like a regular school day for me, you know, you kind of not, you don't like notice them as much. And it really opens my eyes to like living the life of what they do. So I, I, I enjoyed it. We feel it's extremely important because Jay is a part of the family. So he's with us all the time, you know, day, night, texting, you know, how Jay is. Um, and the boys love him, but we wanted the boys to see what it's really like. And you know, the, how they are around Jay, but he's really a friend of them, but he's also a celebrity in this town. I mean, he's, he's done things with the SB. He's so generous. He's out in the community with everybody and um, and it's just bringing the boys into this world and appreciating how lucky they are that they're around somebody like that and how normal they are. The new facility which just opened earlier this fall offers a little bit of everything for anyone who needs it no matter the age no matter their needs. It's a dream come true. It's a dream come true for families. Um, for my family, myself, my son has autism. He's 13. Uh, we've been a part of Autism Up for about 10 years now. So to see this all in the flesh, in reality, is, is, is a really, really big deal. A lot of emotions walking through this place because, you know, we've had it up here in our mind for what we've wanted for our families for so long. And seeing it and being here and seeing our kids have such a great time and in an accepting environment is just, it's overwhelming. The numbers show the importance of having young people like the boys from Athena visit. Currently, one in 59 children are diagnosed with autism one in 34 boys. These children will be growing up and having an understanding of the disorder is only going to help in the future. There's kids that they're growing up around that are in their school that have autism, but it's not just gonna be their school. Once they leave school, it's gonna be college. And once they leave college, it's going to be the workplace. So we're going to see more and more people with autism. We talk about the spectrum of autism. You know, some people have greater needs than others, you know, but everybody has some form of ability, but they need to be accepted and included and given opportunities. The importance of this facility is broader than the services it provides. It also gives a support system and understanding that the families need. You know, the foundation of Autism Up, it was started by four moms in a coffee shop 15 years ago who didn't have any support for each other when they were given this diagnosis. And they banded together and they made it happen for their families because they knew what each other were living. And just that emotional support too is critical for families in your autism journey. It's the type of place that J-Mac could only dream of when he was younger and one that he is thrilled to be a part of. Imagine what it would have been like to be able to come here as a kid when you were first going through this. Oh, this is unbelievable. Um, there, there, when it was like a death sentence back then, and uh, this is just unbelievable to that people, that somebody like Beth from those mobs for autism to get this program going and then in a facility that's unbelievable for kids with disabilities, for them to 
they feel like they're at home um, in their ordinary way. They can come and have fun and take, get educated and, and to have fun in the process of doing it. And you know, life skills and all that. And it's just, it's unbelievable to see the improvement of the awareness. Um, and I'm glad that I was a big part of helping that back in 2006 and then still living, still trying to inspire people uh, now I inspire people with disabilities to everyone. Jay's is a proud kid, you know, or a young man right now. So he's very proud of what he's accomplished. He doesn't really know how big it is. Um, and he doesn't really know how big uh, everybody around him is. So he is just, you know, very proud of showing everybody and, you know, how well he is and, and how um, giving back. Jay's a very giving person. So by having that in the community, He's proud to bring as many people here as he can. Jason was one of the originals because he was given an opportunity and look what happened, right? So, you know, these opportunities and, and Jason being a, a great ambassador for Autism Up out in the community, uh, in school, uh, within his sports teams is, is an enormous help. But we also need to remember that Jason is just one person with autism because when you meet one person with autism, you're really only meeting one person. Be everybody's different. Um, everybody has something to bring to the table. We just need to give them the opportunities to do so. And Jay's always been a great friend and I know that he will continue to be our champion out in the community and spreading that awareness that's so important. This is their life. You guys are going to go, you guys didn't realize how, what kids with disabilities are like, okay? Because there are a lot of them out there. And you want you to see them as ordinary kids too. Because they're normal just like you guys are. What Jay is a self-advocate and me as an, an advocate of, of um, my child is, is we want to make the world a better place for people with autism. And part of that is educating the community about you know how we can be better friends to people with autism so that you know they can live successful and happy lives right along with everybody else